In contrast to the swarms of vampires, lumberjacks, and ghosts who roamed the streets this past weekend, the University of Michigan's campus is fairly quiet this Halloween. It is unless you watch by the corner of North U and Fair, where you wouldn't have been able to miss the group of costume activists protesting visiting House Majority Leader Eric Kemp. In honor of Halloween, the protest took a spooky feast. While some dressed like zombies, other activists held signs shaped like tombstones to voice their concerns. This cantor impersonator hammered the last nail in a coffin labeled the American Dream and the Middle Class, to symbolize the class warfare many believe cantor stands. Among those in the crowd was County Commissioner Yusef Rappi, who agreed to speak with me briefly about his position in Eric Cantor's attack on the EPA. Uh, hi, I'm Yusef Rappi, and uh, I'm here today to uh, protest some of the uh, policy that Eric Cantor and the uh, Federal Republican Party and also the state Republicans uh, uh, are putting forward that I don't agree with. Thinking about this country without regulation is, uh, is kind of scary. I mean, regulation is important to operate in, uh, in, in a capitalist economy um, and in any kind of economy, actually. You want your neighbor to be dumping, um, you know, oil and gas and, you know, fertilizer and everything in, in your yard because they don't want to dump it in their yard because that's, I mean, that's, that's what happens without regulations. And, you know, in order for us to regulate, we need to have uh, uh, an entity that does the regulating, and that's the EPA for the environment. And so, you know, Eric Cantor's attack on, on the environment, his attack on regulation, is doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't make sense for the economy. It doesn't make sense for us as individuals. It doesn't make sense as us as humans as part of the environment. The commissioner also commented on the theatrics of the protest. I mean, it's Halloween. You got to dress up and, and do something fun. I mean, if you're always, you know, if you're always doing your kind of standard protest, and you know, I mean, that gets boring after a while. It's good to kind of, you know, mix it up with some of these zombies. So, yeah. All right, great. Thank you. Yeah. After speaking with the commissioner, I got a chance to hear what some of the student activists thought about Cantor's attack on the EPA. Our goals, um, more specifically, were to get students to realize that this is the kind of stuff that we need to fight against right now and start understanding how in our education we can understand the values that we don't want to take outside the university with us. Um, <laughs> so we know we're going to be like the future people to make big decisions and a lot of our peers are going to be leaders. We might be leaders. And so, you know, like what kind of future do we want for ourselves is our big question. And it's something, it's just a dialogue that we want to open up. And we, a completely inclusive dialogue. And, you know, specifically for environmental issues, no, he's not protecting our water or our land or anything that like, really is important to humanity in general, not Republicans or Democrats specifically. I guess if, I'll, if I pick like a specific issue, like I know hydraulic fracking has been in the news a lot and like they want people, they want corporations to be more accountable for what chemicals they're using in the fracking process and if that goes unregulated it means that groundwater can potentially be really contaminated and yeah my reaction to that is really freaking scared. There are people whose tap water is flammable out east. Like that's, that's scary. That's not okay. <laughs> so I mean regulation does just it needs to create transparency and accountability and if that's not being created then like what are we doing? Okay. Alright, cool. Thanks. Wake the dead! Wake the dead! <laughs>